About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. tell you I was looking for the putrid grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, putrid grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought, but like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher. I've got plans, big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Never thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we've got a riddick of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you're clearly needed. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, that. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Miracle would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Miracle. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. 
Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but... Uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heel. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out, he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn near went bad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Clint wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. It must be a leak. Free city of Novograd. Name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novograd stands on top of a mountain of coin. And winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after not. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? But maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. They cheated me! Band of thieves!
find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. Don't much like merchants who flatter with cheap praise before the job's done. That was not cheap praise. I was merely stating a fact. So am I. I want you to pay in full in advance. I'm afraid that's impossible. Then trap your own rats. Well, now I know why she brought you along. Fine. A full purse of Novigrad crowns as proof of my goodwill. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. Nothing hurts as much as life. Oh. I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of magical activity looks like, but rodents. Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting. Look for crevices and drop them. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense. I'm gonna really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well? Well? Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once, I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temerius King. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. 
Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. If these boys are here to help us kill rats, they're late. You paid up front and got what you paid for. Not half a burden left in the granary. I paid in advance because I knew I'd recover my coin. Such is life for sorceresses in Novigrad these days. I can see that and I don't like it. So here's what I think. The hunters have come, and now they can go. They'll do no such thing. Alright, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. No, they forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now, before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. 
See you later. Well, well, another freak. No loitering round here. Seems every time you turn around. Take you all. Don't like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah? Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? Hear about the notice. Uh, Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. Got them scared to leave their homes after dusk. Like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council, flour and groats for the paupers, meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he, uh... Supervisors. Exactly! I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then. Some other bloke's already after it.
when do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found it. Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Thanks. So long. I place my hope in the eternal. Well, well, you're not a freak. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to do some hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant, who turned out to be a forest troll, and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got a reward to collect. I'm kinda in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Let's go.
So? What do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. We dealt with the monster at the docks. Here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off, before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Carradine? Asking you for the last time. Guards, to the dungeon with them. This guy's more trouble than the Akimara. The Karadin's disappeared. I swear. The others, too. Uh, I only know of Vien. What about Vien? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. Guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. Tell you everything there. The Tavern VN frequents? Yeah. See you later. friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices.
need a witcher. Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, swatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for old Geard von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. time you explain some things. Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend. Oh, hey, fucking Larius. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the Ogre of the Lander. Aiden had been hired to kill him. He was a witcher from the School of the Cat. As far as I remember, the Ogre was killed in the end. Yeah. After it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. What happened to him? Some time ago. Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Aiden wasn't like that. Anyway, some of the duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And he had Carradine? The assassin's leader. And the one to deal the mortal blow. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy. Just your help. We have to talk to Vienne. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. We want to see Yad Keridan. <laughs> now why would I help you? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, He's no longer chummy with his old mates. The word around town is he's changed. Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be planning something big. 
Who else was in Keridan's band? Aside from me, Sleaze, Hammond, and Lund, but they've scattered all over the world. Sleaze went to Tretigal, Hammond to Skelliger, and Lund. Lund's dead. <laughs> Finally met his match. <laughs> well, you've only Hammond or Sleaze to talk to you then. This Sleaze. Where can we find her? She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tresigal, the kind rich men frequent. Who suck information out of them. Then she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Sleaze always did have horrible taste. We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh whence he had come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. What about you? What's your story? Scoyatel. Unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an eagle. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He always preferred that cunt's lose. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher, Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Satisfied? She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Solis. Don't go looking for Karazin. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you... No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. Arseholes. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet with Selyse. Where'll we meet once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right, I'm off. Good luck.
My brother stayed in Tamaria. Ain't no room, is it? of power.
fill in your coin purse, Billy. Billy, Billy. It's all because of this little slug. You ain't so Let me have a look at your stuff. Starved long past. Rob Soldier's corpse is chopped up in the and traced the boy to the pit. It's a rank.
to go with this thing. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of the city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. Furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're already dependent on the black ones. Even on... Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please.
Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and that's like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business, so let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes! 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up.
Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? Got a godling in your house. Name's Sarah, and she's an ornery little thing. Left her alone, but thought I should tell you about her. I thank you for being candid. Could you rid me of this beast? You can do it yourself. Just burn some burdock in the oven. She's sure to run. Godlings detest the smoke. I will not wage war on a beast, large or small. Piss on the godling, piss on the house. I must merely find a fool willing to buy it. The truth is, we're all... So long. Welcome. Oh, 
hear about the notice by chance? Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this, when I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well, ambitious. Perhaps, but they were empty words. I came from the war, that one and the next, and I never fulfilled my promise. My time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone, need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which are shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Plan's crazier than it is sane. There's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. 
by destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? Yes. No need to rush. We have time. Ciri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes. I think... In that case, I... It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I have more to say. Then please... It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one in legend transforms into prophecy when it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah, there's something else. They call Ciri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Jennifer why, she... Travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Ciri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yeah. I remember Ciri having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Ciri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. 
Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Jennifer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Siri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Siri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left in the Rosemary and Time in their will. The Rosemary and Time? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri.
I'll never come back, you stinking! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear up in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem, then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot like a boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone. The tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Aha! A note from a grateful muse! Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Hmm. Ten barrels of Tucson dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. 
it says Plano. Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. They're sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Come on, we need another black dog to dance with. 